Uh. Capo. <laughs> it's so easy for us to get lost, right? Lost in love. I'm a grown man, I can tell you the truth. Hey Peter, I almost fell myself. When it get cold, it get cold. <laughs> Something like Canada. <laughs> I guess you can feel me on that one, right? first question is basically uh what is your area of expertise and how essentially within with a, with just a few sentences did you become successful because I, I know for no doubt i have no doubt that every man in here is a successful person otherwise you would not still be doing the things that you're doing all right so i know everybody's been doing a good job at it so maybe you can give us a little bit of an idea of some of the things that you've been doing to help you be successful within your area of expertise y'all hear me yes sir What's good, everybody? Coach Stone is in the building. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My name is Danny Stone. I go by Coach Stone. And um, so I, I focus a lot. I'm a, I'm a, a mindset and speaking coach. Um, I've done lots of coaching, career coaching, business coaching, life coaching over the years. Um, but my real focus is on business owners and entrepreneurs because we're the people that change the world. And so I'm really focusing on mindset, but I'm focusing on communication as well and helping people to really craft their stories and their messages so that you got clients running to you and you don't have to chase after them. So I've been focusing on that for the last uh, seven years. And, you know, I'm kind of like Ryan, I come from the corporate world. I used to lead organizational training and development for large organizations, one of the biggest colleges in Canada. And uh, same thing, you know, I was there for a while, six, seven years, and then moved into the, the corporate world uh, working in the finance area. And I just realized, I just saw a lot of sick leave and stress leave and the same conversations every day, right? I'm like, one day I'm going to get out of here or complaining about our boss or complaining about the organization. And I just said, that, I just started asking myself this one question. You know, I was listening to all these, all these um, discussions and even participating. And I was like, one day I'm just like, what am I going to do to change my situation? And that was the one question that I, I started asking myself and stopped worrying about all the things that I couldn't do and made the decision that I can do something. And at that time, I, I, I started a little side hustle, a little consulting company. I was doing consulting with big, big companies, coaching, training, and development, uh, and then dropped a book at the same time on Amazon. Left secretly, nobody knew on my very last day, I told everybody I'm out. And uh, that's when I transitioned into the consulting, coaching, and speaking world. That was about eight years ago. And ever since then, just been honored and blessed to speak on international stages, to work with amazing clients, um, to really help people see something different and do something different. That's dope. That's dope. And were there some things that you felt like that were helping you be successful at doing that? Were there things that allowed you to kind of first decide to make that move and continue it? Yeah, I think um, one of the biggest, I think well, I'll get to that later, but I think one of the challenges that we have is we have to have everything laid out. And so what I, what I realized is just get started. Mm -hmm. So I would just get started, right? And, and as I started, I got momentum. And, and I think that was the thing. I just didn't overthink things. I wanted to write a book. I'm not a writer. I was told I was a terrible writer. I wrote the book. <laughs> the book reached readers in nine countries, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was blessed to be a part of another book with nine other black men called New Me, which is in prisons, changing the world. So everything was just about getting started and not overthinking it. Right. And so I did that with the books. I did that with the coaching, the speaking, and just get started. And then the other thing was I started surrounding myself with very powerful, positive people. Mm -hmm. It's not about how, it's about who. Okay. And once you realize the who, everything changed. Okay. All my goals got bigger. Everything that I started to achieve bigger, I started getting in front of bigger audiences because of the who I was around. So because of those individuals and because of my own drive, I, I started to see some success. People started coming back, you know, saying things that I said might have impacted their life in some way. And that's the true measure of success for me. How many lives can we impact? Amazing. That's it right there. I think that's something that each and every one of us could take away from tonight. Just right in the first beginning, the first minutes of a discussion, there's already a gem that 
it, that's the true measure of, expect, of success. I think for each and every one of us, how many people's lives can we impact with what it is that we're doing? You know what I'm saying? That's super important. And the other thing, like you said, I, like when I was joining your live the other day and you mentioned, just start where you are. You know what I mean? You got to start from somewhere. So start from where you are. Don't be like, I need this and this has to happen. And I got to be able to do this. And I can't do it if I don't have this. And how can I start if I don't No, just start. And whatever happens, you'll figure it out along the way. You know what I mean? Ups and downs, yeah. hills and valleys along the way, whatever it is that just start from where you are. And that really struck home for me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, cause I feel like a lot of like the height and chef thing, we could have been like, we don't know what's going to happen. It's not legal, uh, blah, 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 blah. We just started it, man. And we just were, and look, here we are now almost five years later. You know what I'm uh, saying? And getting, and like you said too, surrounding yourself with amazing, incredible, important people, which is what I'm trying to do tonight. 